All right, what is up, guys? Daniel and Blake here again, up, and boys? as you I guys, you, you may have seen from the previous videos, we installed, just recently installed, C-Clear wiring harnesses in Blake's boat for his front two graphs and his, or his con two graphs of the console and his front graph right here. And if you can't tell, he is a Lawrence man. He's got the Ghost, an HGS Live, and then another two HGS Lives at the console so it is only fitting that we're going to be installing active targets on his boat and after just installing c clear right now we wanted to go ahead and knock it out at the same time and install active target so as you guys can see we have been working it's a little bit messy let me turn the camera around for you and for you guys that don't know blake is also an avid fisherman not much of a youtuber but he I'm does trying, I'm trying, he does okay. post a little bit yeah so so i'll make sure to 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 link his video up top right now or his I'm his, a his channel yeah a couple new jobs and yeah it, got lazy. it happens it's called growing up but we will we will link his channel in the top and make sure you guys can follow him because he's not much of an install guy but he is definitely one hell of a fisherman so we will uh we will put that up there for you guys but first things first, we just ran the ethernet cable from his little hole at the hull of his boat that will go to the unit. And then yes. we'll go. And the yes. other end will go right there. Yep, exactly. So for, for, for you guys who are just looking for a general overview, we're gonna mount the, the active target right there on the trolling motor and then you got this big bulky box right here because Lawrence just tried to come out, make it semi affordable. And uh, you know, this is the best option. They, they could probably charge a ton more money and make it a lot more of a sleek design. But for the average guy, you know, 1500 bucks is a lot. And so they were able to keep it right at there. A lot of this space is because of this heat sink right here. Mm -hmm. So yep. they, you want to mount this so that it's got some air to flow underneath through here. It can be in a compartment, you just don't want to mount this flush with the bottom. Yep. If you're going to mount it vertical, mount it like this. That's why all the words are like this. So that the heat sink still has room to flow and your cords all have, they made it with this part right here so that your root cords have room to go up without being kinked over. Yeah, exactly. Right. And that's something I didn't even know until Blake just said right there. So as you can see, that is something big. You're going to want to mount it in a compartment. And what uh, we are going to do right now is we've got his sonic hub right there at one part of his compartment and we think um forgive all the wires we're gonna we're gonna clean that up by the end of the video we're gonna mount it right there in front of his console so bear with us we're gonna mount the active target transducer first on the trolling motor and then we're gonna run the wires to the actual unit right there so average pros average pros too yeah we could say that um as you can see we're just installing the mount right there and it's got hex style bolts so you will either need some type of drill bits uh sounds like blake is using a number five or your standard you know allen key use that too but that's a lot slower so we got the drill bits, we're gonna install those. And then once you install those around the trolling motor, it clamps that mount onto the trolling motor so it won't slide around, it won't change on you. And then as you can see in the front, this is what you're gonna be mounting the transducer to. And this is the adjustment knob. So when you tighten it down, it locks it into place. And when you loosen it up, it's going to spin it. So it allows you to adjust it from scout mode to whatever mode to some other mode. and. A bunch of different modes you got forward down and scout yep yeah that so we're gonna tighten those bolts down and then we're gonna get the transducer out and wire that up so Lawrence doesn't label their marks there's just marks there mm-hmm but this is what I've just concluded most people store their boat with their prop on the inside which means their active target will be mounted on this starboard side right if you're doing that the temperature sensor right here show them that should be up when it's in forward mode if you want to go to scout mode versus the bottom it's not on the bottom you just switch it to this now you're in scout which is honestly how i'll probably use it most of the time yep and you want to make sure if you change it back to the other mode real quick forward yeah all right, so when you have it in forward, it's going to be like this, and then change it to down as well. That down is on this knob, 
So you loosen it up. Yep. And Turn then you twist that notch. it. Right. And when it's in the correct position, you're going to have the cord coming out of the transducer in line with your trolling motor when it's facing down. Mm -hmm. So that's the key component. That's the way to install the bracket. Then you can install the transducer. And now we're going to run that cable all the way up the trolling motor back into the dash and then hook up all the power, hook up the brain box and make it happen. Before we go and hide all the cables, you know? Yeah. All right, guys. So here we are. We still got the active target hooked up. We haven't wired it up the trolling motor, but as I mentioned in the previous video, we installed the C Clear wire harness. And when we did that, we hooked up the power line directly to the active target. So while we did that, I will insert that clip into this video. Here is your power wire right here. And as you can see, it's going to run in and we are connecting it to the C clear wire harness and it's got your standard power, your standard negative, and then it's also got a yellow cable. So the yellow cable comes off of the power from your unit. Mm -hmm. There's a black, a red, and a yellow. Same thing with the active target. There's a black, a red, a yellow, and a blue. It literally says in the manual, the blue does nothing. So I don't know why it's there, but the yellow you connect here and it's the wake up wire. So when you turn your unit on, it turns the active target module on. Gotcha. All right. So just one more time, a little bit slower. The power wire for your front graph, it's going to have a yellow wire and you want to connect that to your active target. Here's the power line and here's the ethernet and here's the sonar. So clearly the sonar is just going to connect straight to that giant bundle of cables and then the active, active. target transducer. And then you got the ethernet cable. Right, that ethernet cable is gonna go from wherever you mounted in the boat, through the boat, and then connect into your front graph right there. So that's why the HDS series and the new TI series, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I haven't seen the back of them, but I'm assuming they, they both do. have two ethernet cables. It's going to connect right into the back of your unit and you're gonna be good to go. As you can see, it's starting to get dark outside, but here we are, got the ghost troll motor with the attachment for the active target. And as you can see, it goes right there, active targets there. You got a little bit of slack in the line, coiling up, black electrical tape, black electrical tape. And then you wanna make sure that you stop it before this thick section of the troll motor, because that's where it adjusts for the height. So what we did was we added tape right there and then we made sure we added slack in the line and then taped it up on the front so you can raise it up, still have enough slack and have enough slack up there. And then you can lower it down and still not be too tight, right? So that's definitely the, the sweet spot. You can tape it right there on the front of the ghost. You got your slack going all the way up and then taping in your trolling motor cable right there. Make sure you put it on the outside so it doesn't interfere with your locks. And then it's going to run through your uh, through the front of your hole and then down into where we're going to be installing the box down there. So stick with us. We're going to make this cable look a lot, a lot nicer and hook up this brain box right here. All right, so as you guys can see, we've got the brain box mounted right here on the wall. And then we got the sonar, ethernet, and power cable already hooked up. So we ended up hooking those up before we mounted it on the wall. And then we just mounted it with those four screws. And before it was a little bit loose and then we remounted it and now it is rock solid. So I would definitely recommend if you guys think your, your brain box is a little bit loose at all, just remount those screws, tighten them up, and it should be rock solid. What do you think? I think that's about it. We just gotta hook everything back up to the battery, run a test run again, make sure everything's good, and then we'll roll. So there we go. There's the active target and scout mode right there. And uh, Blake is tightening up some bolts. It is looking good to go. I